Just look at this beautiful mackerel. Firm meat, super shiny skin. If you haven't had mackerel, this is how you should start. Saba Nizuke, simmered mackerel. just scoring the skin so all of the flavor will get right down into the meat of the fish and it looks beautiful too. Now watch this. dandy lid with an air vent. So I'm basically poaching the mackerel in sake. Woo! Beautiful. Sake mellows the fishy flavors of the mackerel. And with ginger and a few other classic Japanese flavors, I'm going to bring this mackerel to life. A little soy sauce for salt. Sweet cooking wine, meeting for that subtle sweetness. and some sugar for some sweetness and to bring this sauce into a nice thick glaze. And my handy dandy lid. This will take about 10 minutes. is what it looks like when it's ready. Oh, it's beautiful. Some of those poaching liquids have evaporated, but all of the flavor has stayed under that lid. And I just know that all of those flavors have concentrated in this sauce. Oh, the aromas are killing me. I cannot wait to eat this fish. But first, as always, some rice. And my homemade pickled turnips. I've got jars of this stuff. Mmm. Look at those beautiful slices. Now I get to eat. Mm. Holy mackerel. This fish is so rich and bold and the sauces have reduced. They're almost sticky, sweet, and salty. The flavors are perfectly balanced. It's almost like candy. Mm. And these pickles are so crisp. They're still very firm and have some bite. They are subtly sweet, bright, and briny from that kombu with just a hint of kick from that chili. This is amazing. And this dish is just one reason why I love Japanese cuisine. And cut. Love it. How many times have you recorded that? I don't know, but I'm gonna do something with it. <laughs>